We're joined now by Keith Cowing. He's the editor of NASAWatch.com. Welcome back to the show. So China is marking its third space day, and it seems like since the very first one, there have been so many different events with the dozens of satellite launches, rocket launches. I just want to get your thoughts on all the things that have happened in this amount of time. Well, it's interesting. China's now pretty much doing one of everything in space, whether it's people in space going to this planet to go to that planet. And I think it's just a, you know, a, a demonstration of the growing maturity of the program and the capability, too, with the larger rockets. And to me, the most interesting, you can ask this, thing is uh, the, the mission to land on the far side of the moon. That is interesting. Why is that so interesting? Because no one's done it before. Um, it's, you know, China wants to make its move, do, you know, make its place on the map with uh, something that no one else has done. Well, the Chengyi probes have really been interesting how they've, they've sort of gone and taken what we did early on and gone just like the first time they landed, did something even more spectacular. But going to the far side of the moon, even though people aren't expecting it to be different or strange, it is a technological accomplishment that nobody's really done before because you have to put a satellite in orbit behind, around the moon so that the signals can be reaching you know, the probe and so forth. But controlling a mission on the far side of a planet where you have to use that relay is quite a, a technological demonstration. It's akin to what's being done on Mars right now. And of course, China's going to Mars as well. So why hasn't anyone ever gone to the far side of the moon? Is it because other countries have different plans and ambitions and they want to go this way and that way and, well, you know, the moon's kind of been been there, done that sort of thing? Well, for the U.S., uh, we were looking at landing humans on the, on the near side of the moon, so we focused on that. There was always been talk, this is not a new idea, of going to the far side of the moon, and people talked about ways to do that, but in the end, uh, we got the information that we needed from the far side missions, and the Russians as well, but uh, the Russians are also interested, but uh, China has clearly demonstrated that they're going to actually go and do it, so uh, now they're going to sort of one-up, now what, ne what next? Where are you going to go next, the <laughs> South Pole, the North Pole, the moon? Now, let's t turn to Mars. You said that's the next place everyone's trying to, to go to. The United States wants to go to Mars. Uh, China obviously wants to go to Mars. Who will get there first? Well, the U.S. has been exploring Mars for, for decades now, and the Russians have sent some probes. India has uh, recently sent a probe there as well. And it's like anything in the solar system. Initially, it was very hard and very expensive to do, to do this sort of thing. But again, China's uh, demonstrated that its interest is to be a, uh, I guess, a full service space explorer. Uh, again, to send people up to go to different worlds and so forth. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be sort of interested to watch to see what China is going to do on Mars that hasn't already been done. Where, though, then does China fit in in this global space race? Uh, they're in the top tier. I mean, it's quite clear. I mean, they're about to uh, launch their first, their permanent space station, and uh, that will give them a capability akin, maybe a little bit smaller, but akin to what the U.S. and Russia and Europe and Japan have. And, uh, but again, I think the lunar stuff is most interesting to me because that's something that now suddenly America has pivoted away perhaps from sending humans to Mars to the moon. And uh, while we've sort of not been paying attention to the moon as much, China has. All right, Keith Cowing, we'll leave it there. Always exciting to hear what you think is the next best thing. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure.